September 16th, 2020. Let's practice. Woohoo! All right, now, um, exponential form, expanded form, and standard form. So we saw that in our little mini lesson um, in the slide before. So what we're going to do, again, off to the right, we have our exponents poster. So this poster, if you click it, it'll take you to the link or it'll take you to our math notebook. That shows you different posters as well if you want to look at the more colorful one or if you want to look at this, that is absolutely fine. So when we do look at this, 3 to the 4th power. This one's done for you. So our base is 3. So that's what we're going to be writing. How many times are we going to see that 3? Well, that exponent tells us 4 times. So we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. That equals 81, everybody. 3 to the 4th power is 81. Now, that's the standard form. That's when you evaluate it. So I'm also going to write evaluate on the top. Just so you can see or know we're solving for standard form. 5 squared, what's our base? Oh yeah, our base is 5. How many times am I going to see that 5? Oh yeah, the exponent is 2. So I'm going to see it 2 times. So 5 times 5. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. What do we do with these numbers? Multiply! What is 5 times 5, everybody? Oh my goodness. It's 25, Miss S. Yes, it is. All right, next one, 8 squared or 8 to the second power. What does that mean? What's our base? Our base is 8. Our exponent is 2. So that means we are going to write down the number 8 two times. And what are we doing with those? Multiplying. So what is 8 times 8? Oh, my goodness. If you haven't heard of this riddle yet, I'm telling it to you now. I ate and I ate till I got sick on the floor. 8 times 8 is 64. Do you see how that kind of rhymes there? I know. Sounds weird, but it works. All right. 10 to the third power. 10 is going to be our base. How many times are we going to see that 10? Three times. 10 times 10 times 10. Remember, we're multiplying them. So, multiply. Now, what's 10 times 10? Oh, yeah, that's 100. And then 100 times 10, that's 1,000, you guys. Or if you see a 10, and this only works for 10s, if you want to do it this way, if you see a 10 with an exponent, that exponent to the third power, that means you're going to have a 1, or the first one, the 1, and that exponent is going to tell you how many zero or how many zeros. So one with three zeros. So ten times ten is going to be a hundred, and then times ten is going to be a thousand. So if we have one hundred times ten, we can test it out here. Zero times zero is zero. Zero times zero is zero. Zero times one is zero. Um, we're done with this. We're going to put our placeholder. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. Add, and you have 0, 0, 0, 1. And it is 1,000, and we are correct. Now, how about 2 to the 4th power? What's our base? Our base is 2. So we're going to have 2. And how many times are we going to see that 2? 4 times. So we're going to have a 2, 2, 2, 2. And what are we doing with those 2s? multiplying multiply so two times two times two times two now what is two times two that's four four times two eight eight times two is going to be 16. now you probably will not be doing that in your head um i'm going to show you how you can do it so two times two i'm going to actually erase this bottom part and i'm going to show you so if you have 2 times 2, that is 4. Now I'm going to bring down everything else I didn't use. Now, 4 times 2 is 8. Now I'm going to bring that down that 2 that I didn't use. What's 8 times 2? 16. And we used everything, so our answer is indeed 16.